In this video we're going to show how to uh, connect a uh, Benmaster ProCap 2 capacitance probe to turn on a light uh, to indicate a covered indication. Okay, for this installation we're going to have two cables coming into the, uh, the ProCap 2. Uh, th this one here is the 115 volt power source and, and this cable is going to the light. Um, the ProCap 2 can be powered from either 115 volts or 230 volts uh, and then you select the right voltage with this selector switch right here. Uh, and we're, we're pow going to power this off of a 115 volt source in this application. Okay, we're going to start by making our connections to the light. The cable coming from the ProCap 2 is a three conductor cable. Uh, we've got a uh, the black wire is the switched hot conductor, the white wire is the neutral conductor, and the green wire is the equipment grounding conductor. Uh, we'll start by connecting the, the green wire to the ground jumper for the, for the light enclosure. Um, this is to ground the, the metal enclosure of the light. Screw the wire nut on tight, make sure both conduct conductors are, are secure. Then we'll go to the neutral conductor for the light. We'll connect to the white wire coming in. Get those together. Put the, uh, screw the wire nut on tight. Make sure both conductors are, are secure in the connector. Then we'll go to the, to the uh, we're going to connect the, the hot wire from the light to the, to the black uh, conductor. We'll go put the wire nut on that, screw it on tight, make sure both conductors are secure in there. That's all the connections we need to make at the light. So now we'll, we'll put the light back together. Okay, now we're going to make the connections at the uh, ProCap 2. Uh, we've, we've got the two cables coming in. Uh, this one's the power cable, the 115 volt power source, and then this is the cable going to the light. Uh, first we're going to connect our equipment grounding conductor to the ground screw. So the equipment grounding conductor from the power cord, we're going to um, push on the ground screw. And the equipment grounding conductor from the light, we're going to also connect to the ground screw. And then we'll tighten that screw down. they're both in there secure and tuck the wires back in. Okay now we're going to connect our neutral wires. We've got our two neutral wires here and that, but we also need to connect a neutral to the end terminal on the terminal block, on the line terminal block. So we'll, I'm going to use a jumper wire to make that connection. Stick the jumper wire in and I'll tighten the, the end terminal screw down. Make sure that's tight. The wires in there secure. Now I'll put the three white wires together. I'll make a connection with a wire nut. Screw that down tight. Make sure all three wires are in there secure. Then I'll, I'll tuck it back out of the way. Now we're going to connect the hot the the uh, the black switched hot conductor from the light, we're going to connect it to the 1 and 0 terminal. And we will tighten that screw down. Make sure that wire is in there secure. Now the, the black hot conductor needs to go to two places. It needs to go to the L terminal on the line terminal block and it also needs to go to the 1C terminal um, on the relay terminal block. So I'm going to use jumpers to uh, make that connection. So I'm going to put one jumper in the 1C terminal, tighten that down, make sure that's secured in there. I'm going to put another jumper in the line terminal or the L terminal on the line terminal block and tighten that down. Now I'll put my black wires together. Secure. 
secure them with a wire nut. Get that tight. Make sure each wire is in there secure. Then I'll, I'll tuck the, that wire down in here. And that's uh, all the wiring connection to the uh, ProCap 2.